All right, we're in Blender. And this is the default project that is welcoming you when you are uh, in Blender for the first time. So you, you have three objects there, camera, cube, and light, and we won't need them. So you could just select them and delete them. Next, we'll need to import our file, our model. So click File, Import, and choose the right type of file. For me, it's an STL. And there it's loaded up on the right panel. You can see it. Sometimes the model won't appear on the screen because it's too big. So you could press the dot key on your keyboard and that will center the view on your model even if it's way too big, like so. And so today, as you understood, we are going to paint this Trigoy Pirate. I really like this model. Uh, it's really detailed and we have a lot of fur. A lot of triangles, as you will see soon. And so it's quite interesting to work with this one. Also, I won't be talking about how to fix the origin for the mesh or how to remove the base in this video. But you could go and watch the video series by Amoda, where they talk about how to navigate in Blender and how to clean up the mesh. You will learn a lot about how to do textures in Blender and how to prepare your file for Tape Weaver as well, uh, but all in Blender. So now that I have my iPoly mesh uh, imported in Blender, I'm going to copy it. I need two meshes. You could just press uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, or you could right click, copy, and right click, paste the data blocks. Yep, same mesh, you could just hide one. And the second one I'm going to rename to low because it's going to be the low poly mesh. Right, so we need to remove a lot of triangles from it. And then uh, to do that, you could go to edit mode in order to uh, decimate it. And sometimes when you switch to edit mode, your model won't be selected. So you could press A or select and all to select all of the vertices. Now we are going to decimate, so select a mesh, clean up, and you could choose decimate geometry. I prefer to do uh, press F3 and type in decimate, and that will bring a small view there in the left bottom corner, uh, which you can expand by pressing the bracket icon. Also, I forgot to turn on the statistics, so go up uh, the right corner and choose statistics. That will show us how many triangles and vertices we got on our mesh. Um, and we will uh, use that information uh, when using the ratio in the geometry view. And now we can see that we have over 3 billion of triangles in our mesh. What we want is uh, around 10 or 12 thousands of triangles. So we need to divide it a lot. And I'm choosing a ratio of uh, 0.01, so I'm dividing by 100, for starters. Now when you feel ready, just press enter or click beside the box. And after some calculation, you will get your new mesh with fewer triangles. And here I'm deciding I want to keep that one with uh, 34,000 uh, triangles. Because I know that Tailweaver can take up to 60k uh, vertices. And after our export from Substance and import in Tailweaver, maybe we'll get something different than what we have currently. Now we can go back to Object Mode. And we'll select our meshes, uh, both the low and high poly. Uh, first, select one and right-click on your mesh and choose Shade Smooth. We need to smoothen our edges, so don't select Shade Flat. If you forgot to do this, uh, you will get some triangles appearing in the baking in uh, Substance. So remember to select Auto Smooth for both uh, your meshes. And now I, I know I said uh, 34,000 was good for mesh, but I'm going to decimate once more. And when you select uh, Decimate Geometry with the F3 key once more, uh, it keep a, uh, it, it keep your previous ratio. So you need to change it back to something that would make sense. Here I'm trying to uh, target 20k. 
and we've got 17k so it's it's a good number it's a bit high but it's a good number uh, for this model uh, which is a bit detail uh, that will do i want to keep in mind that uh, Talspire will take maybe a bit uh, longer to load it but honestly that won't be much difference so you want to pay attention to uh, the pointy bits the the face make sure that everything is good and if it is uh, that's it we're done uh, so we'll need to export for substance and i'll get back to my high uh, poly mesh so we can compare and export both of the files. So here I'm, I'm revealing the high poly mesh, uh, shade smooth, again, remember, and file export, and we're choosing FBX. Go to your folder where you want to put uh, your meshes, and uh, we're going to name the two different files accordingly, uh, if it's the low poly or the high poly. Rename the file, and then you could uh, choose to select selected objects only and the mesh only. And make sure you select Apply Transform. Then press Export FBX and do the same for the low poly mesh. That will get you two files, the high and low uh, FBX. And we'll be using these two files to import our model in substance and bake the textures uh, as well. Now in the other next video, we'll be actually painting the model, but for now we'll concentrate on how to set up Substance, um, how to get the parameters right for your mouse or your pen tablet, and uh, how to import the model.